हेलो एवरीवन नाउ इन दिस सेशन लेट अस रिप्रेजेंट रेशनल नंबर ऑन ए नंबर लाइन हाउ टू रिप्रेजेंट ए रेशनल नंबर ऑन ए नंबर लाइन लेट अस सी परफेक्टली राइट सो टेक एग्जांपल 7 बाय 8 एंड माइनस 3 बाय 8 ऑन ए नंबर लाइन सी 7 बाय 8 मींस दिस नंबर लाइज बिटवीन 0 टू 1 so 0 to 1 total how many parts it is very important that 0 to 1 is divided into 8 parts means the denominator describes as to number of parts so that now let us divide from 0 to 1 8 parts okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 means every 8 is considered as 1 means 8 parts is considered as 1 so that now let us represent 1 by 8 2 by 8 3 by 8 4 by 8 okay so 5 by 8 6 by 8 7 by 8 and 8 by 8 which is equal to 1 okay from 0 to 1 it is divided now into 8 parts got it right now what we require here 7 by 8 which is a positive so we can see 1 by 8, 2 by 8, 3 by 4, 5, 6 and 7 by 8. So this is the way we can able to represent any number, any rational number on a number line. Next one, minus 3 by 8. So minus which is a negative. So negative which lies on left side of a number line. So as the same way, here also we can represent as the same 8 parts. So here, minus 1 by 8. Minus 2 by 8, minus 3 by 8, minus 4 by 8, minus 5 by 8, minus 6 by 8, minus 7 by 8, and minus 8 by 8, which is equal to minus 1. So, what we require here? Minus 3 by 8. So, we can see here minus 3 by 8. So, that this is the way we can able to represent any rational number on a number line very easily. Dear students, now we see 4 by 7 on the number line. How we can able to represent? See here, the 4 by 7 lies between 0 and 1. Here, denominator 4 by 7 means the 0 to 1, it is divided 7 parts. So, 7 parts from 0 to 1. So, we can able to write 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 7 parts is as 1. Means from 0 to 1, there we have 7 parts. So, that now let me write 1 by 7, 2 by 7, 3 by 7, 4 by 7, 5 by 7, 6 by 7, 7 by 7. Now, what we required here? 4 by 7. So, we can see clearly here the 4 by 7. So, this is the way we can able to represent a rational number on the number line. Let us see one more number on the number line. This is 17 by 5. 17 by 5. Here, 17 by 5 means 17. If we divide the 17 with the 5, okay, 5 3 is a 15. So, that 2 means how many whole parts are there? 3 parts means this number lies between 3 to 4. This number lies between 3 to 4. Therefore, how many parts? What is the denominator here? 5 is the denominator. Therefore, 5 parts between 3 and 4, we have to divide it into 5 parts. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, so 1 by 5, 2 by 5, 3 by 5 and 4 by 5, isn't it? So that now we can see here 1 by 5, here 2 by 5, here 3 by 5, here 4 by, here 5 by. So that what is the required for us? 3 after 2 by 5, 3 after 2 by 5. So this is what the required number. One more example, express minus 2 by 3 on the number line, minus which is left side of the 0 which is lesser than the 0 therefore between 0 and 1 there we have 
three parts. Total how many parts it is divided? Three parts. So the denominator minus two by three. This is the required parts which we are dividing into three parts. So that one, two, three. So zero to one how many parts? Three parts. So what is the required number here? Minus two by three. Therefore minus one by three, minus two by three, and uh, minus two by three.